Some time has passed since I found you. Your master still lives. They'll soon make use of his bloodline. The limb you have lost will give way to something more useful. You'll learn to appreciate its worth. that no army could win. There was no fear, no failure. But the rules have changed. The enemy changed. And no one was ready for it. The Black Hand. They are the world's most powerful private army. But even they should fear what they've created. This isn't a war, Rico. This is survival. Getting shot at? All the time. Gente que faz os tico ali? The marketplace is a thriving economy and introduces a new barter system that allows Lara to trade for a wide variety of items, including crafting materials, outfits, and weapons. By activating an option called voiceover immersion, you can hear the inhabitants of Pai Chi speak in their native language for an even more captivating experience. If you don't activate it, they will simply speak in your chosen voiceover language. Will you trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. However, Lara is still looking for the challenge tomb she was told about, and it seems the entrance is hidden underwater. Luckily, one of Lara's skills is an upgraded breath meter, so she can reach the tomb. The gate's open. Now I'll just have to get over there.
blessings go with you, my child. And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. This disease kills thousands of innocents. Finding a cure is one of the reasons I came here. Renaixe. Will you stand for this? Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox. A day of high octane thrills and two very public targets. Oddly spiky. Give me strength. Control ice. Control it? No, all I ever do is hurt people. This is my home now. I can't go back. I don't want to hurt anyone. The most merciful thing in the world is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity. And it was not meant that we should voyage far. Madness is not a curse. With five feeble senses, we pretend to comprehend the boundlessly complex cosmos. I have seen the dark universe longing. The gods pity the man who it is. Carelessness can remain sane to the hideous end. Sanity is a curse. Madness offers the only freedom. Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we're about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. 
They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. Are you going to insult us with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the peacekeeper's orders, one way or another. After this, you'll start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply has allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water for the people at street level. And that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safe for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side... Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water in the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you'll have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world, your own city from the apocalypse. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. The city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. But it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer.
thing, and then there's this other one that's actually not. Oh, there we go. That's there. There we go. So that's the shield, and you can kind of see we we have this reactive environment in the game. Uh, there's quite a bit of destruction, and now we're using one of the supernatural abilities there. A uh, very deadly chair. Yeah. And we're going to use the shield again. You can see how the environment kind of reacts to all of that. Like when Jesse pulls up the shield, the objects nearby will start to levitate as well. So there's a lot of sort of... Uh, so this environmental destruction, that, how does yeah. it affect the gameplay? Can you use it to your advantage? Or you can use it to, against your enemies offensively as well? Absolutely. Yeah, you can see that she can pick up things like the fire extinguishers and the clock and the that. house. I love how calm she is. She's just yeah, strutting she just through there, just shooting him down. She's like, I got this. With this chair. Yeah. Well, as, I mean, as the game begins, I mean, <laughs> she is kind of led to the oldest house. So maybe, maybe this has been her calling. Yeah, which she discovers. Um, the missions that we're showing you, this is roughly halfway through the game. So she does have a certain level of confidence here that she did not have in the beginning <laughs> when she first discovered these abilities. And a lot of the challenge of this game is her learning to master these powers that have just been granted to her and, and discovering their limitations and what they can do. Copy that, Captain. Hey, Paige. Bet we could use your space jelly to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. <laughs> uh, keep laughing, fools. The key ingredient to good cooking mm, is love. Hmm? Oh. What what? Engineering to officers, we are dead in the water. I repeat. Main engines are cursed. Nox, come in. What have we got on the scanners? Jack shit. Nada. Hey, 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 wait. I see something. Three o'clock starboard. It, it's massive. Wait, get back here, Shani. Hold off! <laughs> That's what's more important. So the Spyro series has a rabid, really active fan base. How has the fan reaction been so far? We've seen a lot, uh, a lot that we've loved too. People have been outpouring how they're feeling about the design of the characters, and it's just been sweet to see. Uh, Look at a lot of times, yeah. A lot of times the studio will actually uh, look through some of the comments just as inspiration. Oh, nice. <laughs> it helps people feel like just super pumped to get through the rest of my existence in this level. You've got this. <laughs> Ramon's watching this like, yes. hell no. <laughs> He's like, hell. It's not happening. Oh, looks like you're making good time. Uh, now I gotta get that plane too. Go for those gates. The team is going to be embarrassed by me. <laughs> there he is. <gasps> yes. 
Gracias. With Artyom and the Spartans a considerable distance from Moscow, they will start to discover how radiation has affected different life forms across the country. Human animals are a new mutant to Exodus, fierce and unrelenting. The A-Shot serves as an effective close-range weapon for this frantic, breathless type of gameplay. A marked distinction from more tactically demanding human encounters. Everything in Exodus is built on real-life lighting, materials and physics. A knife thrown into enemy armor may not penetrate deeply enough to kill them. Just like you can extinguish lamps, shooting them will cause them to explode and a fire to spread. As a player, you will need to hone both your aim and tactics in order to successfully navigate your way through the game. This was just one brief stop on an epic journey across post-apocalyptic Russia. Metro Exodus offers a world of stunningly rich environments to traverse and explore, new and overhauled gameplay mechanics and unsurpassed attention to detail. For fans of the series and newcomers alike, the gripping next chapter in Artyom's story promises countless hours of tense and exciting exploration ahead. not her choice. So you can 
see they're not very friendly. No. <laughs> You've talked about having freedom in terms of how you approach missions. So you can, you can approach them stealthily, you can go in all guns blazing if you want to. Um, what kind of freedom do you have in terms of the mission structure, in terms of the story? Can you, do you get to make story choices in the game or is it like sort of like a linear narrative path you're going to be taking? So you tried doing sort of a stealthy approach and now you're just going to go in with a shotgun and blow them away. Ooh, get that hit shot. Or baseball bat, that works. Yeah. Can you tell us anything about what has happened in the world? You know, why are we in this post-apocalyptic situation? Like, are you able to reveal like kind of what, what has happened, what has led to this transition? Yeah, you know, it's one of those things that we really want the player to sort of learn as they go. So there are answers. Right. Um, but you have to explore. Uh, there's a, you know, we have, we, we've, we've introduced this group called Nero, which is our national emergency us. All of you venerate savagery. You will die savagely. Nobu, come!
I do not understand. Uldathwi, Chamagotun Hami, Uthmi Cheyavan Sakt, Chi Obelatno, Timi Varia. Reinforcements. We have to move. Just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's crazy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb it? Face punch it is. Whoa, your garlics are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back on the bar so we can talk science. Now and we can protect you! No way! You ain't see what I do! What the? yourself literally Cash first. 